the endless opportunities at the high school would quickly dry up. I would also like to welcome the wonderful faculty at the high school, without which the students would not have the knowledge, passion, or courage to pursue those opportunities. As much as there are countless teachers who have changed my life throughout high school, I would like to personally welcome Mrs. Lori Blake, whose courage and dedication to her student, students, in light of her own struggles, has given me the dedication, the courage, and the inspiration to pursue my own dreams despite any odds. It is also with great honor that I now welcome the students of the Egg Harbor Township Class of 2013. I would like to begin with a lesson that I learned when I was younger with a phrase that my mother planted in my head. When I was a little kid, I was obsessed with building blocks. My family made the mistake of getting a bag of those multicolored blocks of all shapes, sizes, and colors. I built some ridiculous buildings, almost always tall ones, and they almost always fell down. It wasn't until much later that I would realize that structures without good foundations ultimately fall down. As a young boy, this meant some awful messes that I'm sure my mother will never forget. It was also the reason that I will always remember my mother's line that went, Chris, if you can make the mess, you can clean it up when you're done. I'll always remember that line for various reasons, but most important among those reasons was the impact that her quote had on my perception of the world. Like those blocks, each and every human being is a different color, shape, and size with his or her own unique background. Like those blocks, our world's people are multifaceted, and each and every one of us is a block in the intricate foundations that span across our globe. The wildly unstable structures that I created as a young boy represent the idea that we, as people, are responsible for upholding and uplifting each other, the other pieces. As we move into the world, away from our graduation, our friends, and our families, remember the people who inspired and uplifted you, as well as the memories that made your high school experience unique. We find ourselves wondering that how we could ever replace those foundational memories, the moments that we wish we could relive again and again and again. We wonder if our efforts have been worth it, whether we measure up to our expectations and our hopes. However, it is necessary to remember that each person sitting to your left and to your right is going through the same dilemma. As the memories begin to fade, and as we step forward hesitantly into our lives, it is utterly important that you stand by one another, have faith in each other, and most importantly, to work diligently to have faith in yourselves. I know that we are taking our first hope-filled steps into a chaotic, complex, and messy world. But our responsibility as the younger generation, as I once learned through the wisdom of my mother, is to do our best to clean it up. We cannot turn away from the world's problems, problems which lie at our foundations and at the base of the relationships that we share with one another. We cannot turn away from each other, whether friends, family members, or strangers. We are all in these struggles together, and we are all capable of lifting each other above the obstacles that life throws our way. It is now time to build upon the foundations we have established over the past four years of high school, to set our feet steady, and to go onwards and upwards to greater heights. It is with mixed emotions that I stand before you today, but it is with great hope that I watch us begin our first steps into the world. So, let's get on. Imagine if the Mayan calendar came true and we were the first year to not graduate. That really would have put a damper on some people's plans to just get on with it already, while simultaneously preventing others from savoring this magical time in our lives. After completing high school, it is true that one must cling to each fleeting moment, as so many of us are told at one time or another. My favorite variation of this is from our own Mr. Herman, who amongst his chuckles and kickers told me sophomore year that to an adult, Time is measured in seasons. That said, life moves so fast that chunks of time blur together, 
and it only gets faster. Much of time is spent preoccupying day-to-day -day things, the small things, and it is easy to get lost in the flow of it all. But anyone who has seen Ferris Bueller truly knows this. The days I remember most vividly amid the blurry details are the ones where dreams and friendships are perpetuated. The days feel longer when one is working towards the future rather than in the present. Since we were born, our behavior has changed in such a way that we progressively become more mobile. First we sit there, then we crawl, and then we eventually walk. Years go by as our parents drive us around places until eventually we can drive for ourselves. We must not forget that along the way, people get us where we need to go so that we can function for ourselves. Such a task has been the purpose of our mentors, teachers, and parents for 18 years. Our mentors have served as imperfect role models whose imperfections are left to the children to smooth out and understand how to be better adults. They steered our lives, they have made the turns for us until we were finally able to make the turns for ourselves. And as we are finally ready to start our car of life and transverse various unknown territories and highways, we sometimes feel uncertain with our lives. We cannot discern which exit to take and if one is actually the best choice for ourselves. This uncertainty echoes the fear of change that many of us have felt lately. But the thing about uncertainty is that many times we have subconsciously made our decision, but we are afraid to put it into place and make our dreams a reality. Half of the decision is coming up with it, but of course the other half is implementing it. The butterflies in our stomach are nothing more than a confirmation that our path is true, just begging for the confidence to make that next step. If there is one thing I learned in high school, it is that change is good and that one should not be afraid of it. Because if something picks at your mind, chances are it will eventually become an actuality. Almost let the degree of uncertainty drive you if you ever feel unsure of the next step in your life. Students of the class of 2013, I've said before that our mentors have guided us. They've had their hands on our steering wheel until we could drive our own car or steer our own plane. Moving ahead, consider tonight the transition from the passenger seat to the driver's seat. After project graduation tonight, some of you will never step foot in the school again, leaving behind much history. We have now checked high school off of our never-ending checklist of life, but that does not mean erase it from the list. You should leave your accomplishments finished but not forgotten as we continue to push forward. Use your highlights as fuel to move forward and your mistakes as principles for improvement. And thank someone before you leave here tonight. I am confident that our amazing class will be extremely successful as long as it follows its gut. It has been a pleasure to be in the spot with this great graduating class of 2013 with all of you. Best of luck and dear attention. Distinguished guests, Board of Education, Administration, Faculty, Family, and Friends, I welcome you to this momentous occasion in our lives. Class of 2013, we made it. Four years. Four years we have spent together and learned together. Four years that we've made lasting friendships and relationships learned invaluable lessons, developed our talents, and discovered our passions. In these past four years, these past 4,320 hours spent in that building, we have changed. We have grown physically, mentally, and emotionally. We have matured, well, most of us. It is incredible to think that we have finally made it to our senior year. I still remember us as small freshmen, scared and nervous for what high school would bring. We have made new friends and grown apart from old ones. We have challenged ourselves in countless endeavors and we have succeeded. Today is our day, a day to celebrate our successes. Now, we are moving forward, away from the familiar environment of crowded hallways and fire drills and block scheduling and you know what day it is? And into the real world. A place where we will meet new people, experience new things, and find ourselves. 
As we venture out onto bigger and better things, we must remember what got us to this point. It was the support of family, the guidance of teachers, and the comfort of friends. Without this great influence, success we have achieved would have been difficult to find. Like many of you, I would not be in this position without the overwhelming amount of support I received from a variety of people. I would like to thank my teachers for their lessons and guidance, both inside and outside of the classroom. They have taught me not just how to solve complicated equations and analyze literature, but also how to treat others and be a good person. I would like to thank my guidance counselors, Mr. Susco and Ms. Wexler, for always having an open door. I would like to thank my friends for being a constant source of laughter and happiness through our inside jokes and spontaneous adventures. And most importantly, I would like to thank my parents for raising me with unconditional love to be the person I am today. Without their support and guidance, I would be nothing. So truly, thank you all. a pinnacle of success in our young lives, we must remember that we are destined for so much more. For us, graduation is just the beginning. It is just one milestone before a wide open future. We can literally pursue anything we want. For the first time in our lives, we can actually do whatever we want. In a class as diverse as ours, I am excited to see so many different types of talent shared with this world. We must continue to form new goals, push our limits, and work towards success. We should not fall into the rut of tedium and repetition. Nelson Mandela once said, there is no passion to be found playing in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. Too often, people find themselves content with what they have achieved and do not strive for more. As we achieve one goal, we must maintain that drive as we continue in our path towards greatness. Find that thing that sets you ablaze and go for it. Whether that be solving equations, making music, teaching others, or saving the world. Latch on to your passion and watch it grow. Share your passions with the world, and the world will welcome them. So today, class of 2013, we must remember to realize our potential and cultivate what we are passionate about. We should not be content with mediocrity, and we must not be satisfied with average. To the future thinkers, teachers, lawyers, doctors, engineers, artists, and world changers behind me. Go forward and make waves. Do what people consider to be the impossible. Stay hungry. With this mentality, we will achieve the greatness that we are destined for. Make the most of your unique talents, for they are truly innumerable and remarkable. I would like to leave you all with a thought. Patience, passion, and perseverance equals success. This was said by the great thinker, geography master, the one and only Mr. Worldwide Pitbull. <laughs> Keep these words in mind as you take the world by storm. Congratulations, class of 2013.